All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? My people in Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, or out of Staten Island, my home borough, Brooklyn, all my people out there in Money Earning, Mount Vernon, and Yonkers. Back at another video. And once again, I want to say rest in peace to Earl Simmons, a.k.a. DMX. My thoughts and prayers, my condolences go out to his family and his real friends, the people who really cared about him. I'm so sorry for your loss. And, uh, you know, just, just stay blessed, okay? Just... Just be thankful that you guys are still here. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to get into this. I'm going to list some of my favorite, all time favorite DMX songs. Okay. I'm not ranking them. I'm not telling you what's the best DMX song ever. But I'm just telling you, this is my personal favorite list. When I go to listen to DMX, these are songs I go to. And of course, starting out with Rough Riders Anthem, probably one of his more, of his more recognized, famous songs on his classic, legendary debut album, It's Dark and Hell is Hot. You know, stop. Drop, shut him down, loading up shop. Whoa, no, that's how Rough Riders roll. That song obviously called Rough Riders Anthem, and that just really encapsulated the whole Rough Riders label in that era in hip hop. X, Swiss Beats, Eve, excuse me, the Locks, Drag On, you know, all these dudes. It just encapsulated that whole era and that whole label and what they were about. They were some real street motherfuckers from the East Coast. Of course, Eve was from Philly, and X, of course, X and the Locks being from South Yonkers. Moving on to Slippin'. This is on his second late major label debut, major label album, excuse me, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood, which was released also in 1998, along with His Rock and Hell is Hot. Two, two number one albums released in the same year. Only Tupac can say that, but X was alive to see both of them reach number one. Of course, you know, you're slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up. I'm slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up. Yo, I'm slipping, I'm falling, I got to get up. Get back on my feet so I can tear shit up. You know, this is definitely a classic classic banger one of his more famous songs and most people who listen to dmx that i know rank this as his best song again i'm not gonna tell you what the best song is in my opinion of his but you know most people i know who listen to dmx say this is his best song but you know it's all based on opinion you know you guys comment down below what do you think it is but anyway this one ready to meet him this is also on flesh my flesh blood my blood now this is one of this probably is my number one favorite dmx song be quite honest with you Okay, this is probably, and this is definitely one, probably arguably the best song on that Flesh My Flesh, Blood My Blood album. You know, I love this song. You know, the beginning, the first two minutes, he's praying, and you know, right in the hook, you know, ready to meet him. It's where I'm living ain't right. Black, hey, white, white, hey, black. It's right back to the same fight. The guy's suspecting the war, but the real war is to follow the law of the Lord. Lord, you left me stranded. I don't know why. You told me to live my life. Well, now I'm ready to die, ready to fly. I cried, but I shed no tears. You told me you were dead, them fears. It's been years, you know. The whole, the whole, uh, the whole vert, the whole hook, excuse me, the hook in the beginning of the first verse, you know, it's just fire. You know, and then he speaks as the most high, you know, thou shalt not steal. What if he steals from me? Thou shalt not kill. What if he's trying to kill me? Thou shalt not take my vein. Thou shalt not take my name in vain, no matter how hard it rains or how much I'm in pain. I believe it was something like that. You know, you know, if I mess it up, come come down below, and tell me the correct way to say it. But I love this song. Now, this song, Grand Finale, which is on the soundtrack for the classic cult film Belly, starring Nas, Method Man and T-Boz and, of course, DMX, directed by Hype Williams. No, you a dog, you a dog for life. Ride or die. Dogs feel pain through love. See eye to eye. Come on, niggas. Dogs for alive. Of course, Method Man had the first verse. Now it's the second verse. Ja did the hook. And X had the closing verse. You know, this, I love this song, man. You know, I think it's kind of an underrated DMX song. I mean, technically, it's not his. It's, you know, it's his, Nas, Ja, and Method Man. But, you know, whatever. This is definitely an underrated X song. And if you haven't listened to it, I highly recommend you do. It's a great song. Now, this is probably DMX the most famous song you know well not arguably this probably this is the most famous song this song if you don't know who dmx is you've heard this song you know y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here up in here she you know this is on and then there was x's third consecutive number one album and third consecutive classic album his most commercially successful album to, th to this day and it'll probably remain that way you know this this song you know it, the hook's about partying with the whole Verse, you know, the whole the verses, the actual song is about, you know, normal DMX shit, killing, robbing, stealing. But, you know, the part I love about the song, you know, 
You got you niggas are characters. You're not, not even good actors. What's going to be the outcome? What's that about the factors? You whack. You twisted. Your girl's a hoe. You broke. The kid ain't yours. And everybody know your old man say you stupid. You be like, so I love my baby mother. I'll never let her go. <laughs> that shit always cracks me up, man. You know, DMX was dissing simps way before. DMX was talking about and dissing simps way before, way before 2020. No, ain't that a bitch? X was ahead of his time. What's my name? You know, this is, you know, this song is the shit. You know, I, I always go to this song first when I'm working out. When I work out, I always go to this song first, you know. What's my name? DMX and I be the best. You see the rest? Look, they might need a rest, you know. Ride or die. Look at all these off-brand niggas running around yapping that they be holding figures as big as jiggers. That's that bullshit. You know, this is also on, and then there was X albums. You know, like I said before, I've already said this before. It was the second video on my channel. I believe DMX is the greatest rapper of all time. That's just me. And I'm not saying that because he passed away. I, I did that video on him being the greatest rapper ever months ago. I believe about, what, five, six months ago? Okay, and I've always felt this way, that he was the greatest rapper ever. You know, he he, he was like a common. We ain't seen him like him before, and we ain't seen like none like him since. You know, five straight out, five, five, his first five albums all were number one. And all are critically acclaimed, commercially successful. They're all classics. Only Outkast and Kanye West can say that. Now, Kendrick Lamar, I think, is going to be releasing another album soon. And his first four joints were all classics. So let's see if this fifth one is his magnum opus. But, you know, this act, but like I said, DMX to me is the greatest rapper ever. And I've, and I've always felt that way. Okay, this is the some pictures from the video. What's my name? What you want? <laughs> what these bitches want from a nigga? <laughs> <laughs> My man with the whole second verse talking about bitches he fucked with. About three Kims, Latoya and Tisha. <laughs> Cookie, I met her at an ice cream parlor. It was it Tanya, Tanya, Diane, Laurie, and Carla, if I remember correctly. Again, again, comment down a lot. I don't really remember this correctly, but you know. See here, the biggest in rap means the biggest in RB. Of course, this song was featuring Cisco Drew with Drew Hill. Bitches on, bitches on some other shit. Now that I'm fucking with Drew Hill. What the fuck you want from a nigga? <laughs> this is who we be. This is on his fourth major label album, uh, The Great Depression, of course. It went number one. It's a classic, you know. DMX was talking about some real life shit, you know. The problems in the ghetto, the projects. Uh, we gotta solve them. The Bronx, Brooklyn, Yonkers, Harlem. You know, again, if I'm if I got that order wrong, I know he said that exactly. But, you know, if I got the order wrong, I think he said Yonkers, the Bronx, Brooklyn and Harlem. You now, he was talking about some real life shit, the real shit that go down the ghetto on the real problems. Now we got to solve them. OK, so I've always loved this song because of that. I Miss You featuring Faith Evans is also on the Great Depression album is a tribute to his grandmother who had passed away. You know, you know, X had a hell of a childhood, man. You know, again, his autobiography, the autobiography of DMX, I believe it's called Earl. I, I got the book. I read it. You know, his childhood was hell, but his grandmother was the one positive thing per se that he had. So the tribute to her was very touching. You know, you could feel the emotion. In his, you can feel and hear the emotion in his voice. That's the one great thing DMX always did. He always took the pain from himself and the pain of other people in the ghetto, and he can make you feel it. And that's truly the mark of a great artist, a great musician. Can he make you feel what he feels. Can, if he feels pain and sadness, can he make you feel it? If he feels happiness and joy, can he make you feel it? If he feels anger and rage, can he make you feel it? And D, like, DMX was like, he had a different energy around him. You know, not to get off topic, but the energy he had around him, he could have been rapping about, you know, some 5% of shit or whatever, and, and you would have got all hyped up. You would got real into it. Of course, this is his, you know, his fifth, fifth major label's Studio album, his fifth classic and his fifth consecutive number one album, uh, Grand Champ. You no, know, where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? All my niggas in the in the cup, where the wood at? <laughs> you know, this is a classic joint, classic beat. Of course, made by Swizz. I believe Swizz made the beat. Be you know, love this show. Everybody in the, everybody in the ghetto bump this shit. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Cats don't know, but um. Anyway, this is getting on the floor. Get on the floor. Now, DMX in the GQ interview stated how Swizz convinced him to make this song because they needed to get back into the club. You know, they kind of got away from the club and more in the street shit. 
and how he wanted X to get back in the club. So they made the song, get it on the flow, get it, get it on the flow. What? Get it on the flow, get it, get it the flow. What? You don't want a party, then y'all ass got to go. What? Because Swizz did the hook. But um, yeah, this is a classic joint. Here's some vi- pictures from the video. And then, of course, X is going to give it to you. X gonna give it to you. What? He gonna give it to you. X gonna give it to you. He gonna give it to you. Now, this was on, the, I believe, the Cradle to the Grave soundtrack, if I remember correctly. Yo, Cradle to the Grave, man. This was, this was the shit. Born to the Life, True to the Code, Bad to the Bone. Jet Li, starring Jet Li and DMX, Cradle to the Grave. Of course, this is the second movie they did. The first, of course, being Romeo Must Die, co starring Aaliyah. Okay, now this is kind of DMX. This is kind of one of the, you know, Biggest hits he'd had post-2003, post-Grand Champ, you know, already. This was on his Undisputed album, which, you know, it was a, it was a very good album. I enjoyed the project. Already. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Do you like my, these are my personal favorite DMX songs. What are yours? Comment down below. Don't want to give me some of your favorite DMX songs of all time. Is there, is there one, is, is there a song that I didn't mention in this video? Let me know. Subscribe, help your young brother grow on YouTube, and rest in peace to the dog.